remember about 20 years ago or so when baby Jessica fell down the well? And they, lo they, they found a guy who was born without shoulder blades and lowered him down the, the little narrow thing. And it was like, wow, that guy was waiting by the phone for that <laughs> call for so long. That's and perfect. it finally came. Excellent. Banshee was the man without shoulder blades. He doesn't really have a lot of use. He makes sound. But when we were coming up with, when we were designing the third act, and it was like, OK, Bastian Shaw, the cool, groovy dude in his cool, groovy submarine. They can't find him. He's down there somewhere. How are they going to find him? Wait, we've got a guy who makes sound. Drop him into the ocean, and he's a sonar buoy. That's all active sonar is, That's is right. intense sound that you bounce back. Bats do it. Dolphins do it. That's, he may not do much, but he does what, you know, like Wolverine, but, you know, actually... What he does is very nice in this case. So he's not like Wolverine, right. but he does it very well. We went through so many mutants, um, and <laughs> so there there were so many different uh, there were so many different alternate universe versions of this with any right? any variety of mutants. But Banshee was in a lot of different versions, and he you know he was doing things. At one point, we had Banshee, and we had Banshee and Dazzler, and you know because Dazzler can turn sound into light. Um, a, an earlier writer, and we, we had took the idea from the earlier writer, had Banshee make intense sound, and then she turned it into a laser. So that was really, <laughs> that was really cool. But, uh, but yeah, we had, you know, all of a sudden in the third act, this guy who, you know, he was kind of the Ringo of the, uh, he was kind of the Ringo of the, uh, of the X-Men, finally had his moment. Nice. Yeah, this guy, he, he's got, he emits sound pulses. He can find where the submarine is. Perfect. There are actual human beings, a, a, a few human beings that have that seem to have limited sonar capabilities. People who are were born blind and things like that actually can find people by echolocation. Yeah, and that kind of stuff really it's really quite interesting when you put that kind of stuff in because you you go, Oh yeah, you know, that that makes sense. That's a great use for it. Yeah, in the in the world of this storytelling, you know, the 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 idea behind the X Men that that these mutants are to humans as we are to Neanderthals, but they do all kinds of things that you know. What are the laws of physics behind what they can all do? I don't know. That's the that is the hand wave. But within that, you try and find realistic and interesting things for them to do.